Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Fredericks, the Senior Research Engineer for Application Technology here at the Winfield United Innovation Center in River Falls, Wisconsin. In general, I'm in charge of overseeing all the testing that we perform in the wind tunnel lab behind me. I invite you to join me as I walk through the lab and talk a little bit about the work that we've been doing. At Winfield United, we've been doing wind tunnel testing since 2010 when we built our first wind tunnel at our old facility. Since then, we've been continuing to use wind tunnel testing to help develop insights and advance agriculture intelligently. Everything we do in the wind tunnel labs is focused on grower ROI to help keep every dollar spent on product within the field. This lab is where all of the spray analysis we undertake here at the Innovation Center is performed. And the lab contains two wind tunnels. Our small wind tunnel, SprayTech 1, is primarily designed to measure the droplet size produced in a spray. And it's been the main workhorse here since it was installed in 2017. Also in the lab is SprayTech 2, our large wind tunnel, which is entering the final stages of commissioning. This wind tunnel expands the capability of our lab in two major ways. The first way is the lower section of the wind tunnel is designed to simulate field conditions and allow us to perform some of the same type of testing we would typically undertake during field trials. The other portion of the wind tunnel is a high-speed wind tunnel, which gives us the capability to test products in aerial applications, uh, for example, for crop dusting. This wind tunnel is our small wind tunnel, SprayTech 1. It was designed following an ASTM standardized test method, and it's used to measure drop size in a very reproducible manner. We use it as part of our product development pipeline to track how changes in formulation of our adjuvants uh, change the drop size produced within the spray. The wind tunnel itself is an enclosed recirculating wind tunnel, and that enclosed nature allows us to spray complex tank mixes identical to what would go out in the field and keep the active herbicides separate from the operator to keep everything safe and contained. We've used this wind tunnel to produce several key insights in the last couple of years. Some examples of which are understanding how pump shear in tank recirculation de degrades polymer-based DRAs and how guar-based DRAs such as on target, are not susceptible to this pump degradation. Additionally, we've used it to understand how crosswind influences the spray process and how the addition of interlock to a tank helps reduce bag breakup and lead to a more consistent, predictable spray mixture. And finally, we've used it to investigate complex tank mixes, such as the combination of Enlist and Liberty, and how uh, interlock added to these tank mixes, again, increases the consistency and predictability of the tank mix. This is the test section for SprayTech 1. Within the test section, wind is blown from the left to the right at 15 miles an hour. Inside the test section is the nozzle from a field sprayer, and it's mounted on the end of a boom, which can traverse from the top to the bottom of the test section. The nozzle sprays tank mix parallel to the wind, so horizontally, and the wind is there to keep all of the drops moving at the same speed. The drops then pass through a laser beam produced by a laser diffraction interferometer, which produces the droplet size measurement. This allows us to produce a very repeatable, robust measurement of the drop size produced. Thank you for joining me on this walk through the wind tunnel lab. I hope you can see the opportunity that this equipment affords us, and I'm excited to share with you the insights that we develop in the lab going forward.